Welcome to this Digital Anarchy tutorial going over how to download and install plugins on Windows. You can find all the current download links on our website, digitalanarchy.com. Click Demos and select the plugin you want to download. This opens a page where you can download demos of any of our plugins. If you have a paid license, this is also what you want to download. You download and install the demo, then unlock the full version by entering your serial number. Make sure to close Premiere, After Effects, Resolve, or whatever application you're installing the plugin for. Once it's downloaded, open the .zip file and double-click the installer. If you're working in Adobe Premiere, the AE version is the version you want. This installs the plugin for both Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere. Double-click the installer. If you already have a version of that plugin installed, it will ask you if you want to uninstall, and you should click Yes. You want to make sure you don't have more than one version of the same plugin installed at the same time, which can cause problems with your host application not knowing which one to load. The next screen shows the install location, which you should leave as is. You can take note of this location if you want to know where the files are being installed. And once the install is finished, a browser window opens with an optional form you can fill out. Filling out this form helps us learn about our users. Now we can open our host app. I'm using Premiere for the first example. If the effect isn't there, make sure you close and reopen your application and then check again. Some host applications load plugins when they start up, so if you don't reopen them after installing, the effect won't be there. Now a quick overview of where you can find the effect after installing a plugin and opening your host application. In Premiere and After Effects, open the Effects panel and look under Video Effects. There should be a Digital Anarchy folder with the effect. Drag that onto any clips you want to use it on and it will ask you for your name and serial number after you click Authorize. If you've purchased a license, you can enter anything for name, leave organization blank, and enter the serial number. If you want to use the demo, just click Demo instead. You can also click the Setup button in the top right of the effect controls to view your registration or to enter a name and serial number. In DaVinci Resolve, you can find Digital Anarchy effects in the Open FX panel. Drag it onto a clip or a node and click the register button in the effect controls. And the same goes for any other OpenFX host application. Find Digital Anarchy in your effects browser, apply it, and register the effect or use the demo. If you get an error message when you try to enter the serial number, send us a screenshot of the error to cs at digitalanarchy.com and we'll be able to help you get it working. You can also email us at the same address if you have any questions about any of our products, and if you want to download demos of any of our products, check out the demos page at digitalanarchy.com.